Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. January 23rd, 2023. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do is a consequence, and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 218, NASDAQ up 152, SP's up uh, 40. Gold, gold contract up $5, trade at 1944 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 8 cents, $23.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 10. $79 flat, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up eight ticks, trading 114.17. The 30-year up five at 129.30 and King Dollar. King Dollar down, um, oops, where is she? Let me get this, this thing. Excuse me, King Dollar down 193 ticks, trading 102.083. Euro 108, yen at 130 and the British pound at 123 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. Let's go to the futures first, because this is a market that is crawling higher uh, with light volume right now. So if we end up like this, what's going to happen is that you're going to have a down day tomorrow. So if we take a look at the futures, let's see what we just did here. So from two days ago to now, we just did a 61.8% retracement. That being said, now let's get closer in. Okay, so we're going for the highs of yesterday. That number there is uh, 4.078. We're, we've hit 4.074. And this bar here, you're in nine minutes. You're going to make another bar. Yeah, it's gonna, we're going to go for that bar. That, that bar is game. Well, it's only five points away. We'll see what, how this bar comes in, but that thing is game. If we go to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see is the bottom line is that you... What we did out here yesterday, bottom line, you came down with light volume, right? Um, you did 74 million. You were going into 84. And now today, this is where the killer is, man. You're only up with 39 million. We do 40 million or something. The 40 million is going to 68. That's that's a building cause my take to get to lower price, you know, because we still the, see the bottom of the consolidation still has volume. The bottom of this consolidation on the spy at 100 million uh, has volume at 27, uh, 374, 77. We go into the NDX 100. We look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX 100. The, uh, well, we'll see whether it get the volume. I mean, the, the NDX grabbed a bunch of volume at the close yesterday. Right now, you're at 33 million. We went down yesterday with 49. You were going into 52. Um, you know, we're going up on 33. I mean, if this other thing only does 43 and we're going into 56, your probability goes much higher that you're going to go right back down because we have not tested the low of October 13th. And that's a high volume low. That has 112 million shares. So there's some real action out here. Gold, gold contract, gold contract out here, rejected lower price today at the 1915 area. Uh, that being said, bottom line is that uh, this is not, uh, you know, you could, you could look at this and say, okay, we got a hammer here, but this is not a hammer, this is a hanging man. The difference is, folks, is hammers show up at bottoms of trends, hanging mans show up at top of trends. So. You know, we get down there, made a huge comeback. There's no doubt about that. You take a look at this intraday. What you're going to see, this comeback was fast and furious. Uh, and just the correlation. So picture this. That It started at 7 o'clock this morning, coming back, because it hit the low at 7 this morning, that 1915. Now watch the dollar. Watch this. This is, like, amazing, actually. So we, we put the dollar up, and you're going to see, I put it intraday, and there you go. Same time frame, 0700 this morning. That's how it shook out. The dollar comes down. Let's put this back here and see where we are from, from the low of yesterday to the high of today. You did a 0.618 retracement. So, 
Uh, it's all. It's going to be all about the Fed tomorrow, Ben. It's going to be about the statement, what's in the statement, and how long uh, they're going to go. Uh, not only out there. Well, I think it's going to be a you know 25 basis. Or, well, a quarter percent hike. Quarter percent hike this time. Quarter percent hike next time. We see where this thing shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and we're going to have a low volume day here. Uh, Tesla is up by six dollars. You got. Uh, Ford's moving, interesting. Ford's up 56 cents. NVIDIA's up 270. You get General Motors up 280. You get the car companies moving out here. Rivian's up a uh, buck 16. Facebook's up a buck 80. Micron's down a buck 80. And you get Google up a buck 40. We go take a look uh, inside the NDX 100. Strength versus the weakness. You got Rivian 6%, 6.5%. CrowdStrike 3.5%. Tesla 3.7%. Taken away from it. Modern is down three and a half. You get Micron off three. We get uh, Sirius Satellite off uh, two. And Lucent's down one. Inside the Dow Industrial. Strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, the movers out here go like this. Point wise, United Health's putting 69 positive points. Home Depot 50. Goldman 36. Taken away from it. Caterpillar's the big one. Minus 67. Big Mac minus 27. Uh, you know, this, the, the human error inside the New York Stock Exchange, folks, uh, it's, 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 there's people going to lose so much money, it's unbelievable. Uh, so this is how this is, is going to shake out. So the New York Stock Exchange, per month, puts like $500,000 into a fund and ought to for these particular things. Uh, what's going on here, though, is that they figure that, uh, first off, so this is what it says. It says, Investors hurt with the New York Stock Exchange malfunction, sparked wild swing prices are trying to recoup their losses. Bottom line, it's almost, it's, yeah. Losses incurred in the New York Stock Exchange glitch it could amount to millions of dollars in claims of thousands, of, and, and thousands of claims have been submitted by Charles Schwab, Robin Hood, Virto, Citadel, um, and this is where it comes into it. Those claims were submitted were submitted at the Friday deadline on NYSE rooms are likely to exceed 500,000 that the exchange operator set aside to cover disruptions each month, the people said, adding, the likely losers from the glitch are individual investors who stand to recoup a fraction of their losses. Yeah, you know, there's gotta be bigger penalties from the York Shock Exchange, man. Human error and trillions of dollars. Bottom line is that, you know, they make plenty of money, man. Time to come up with that bread. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.